Hello again, YouTubers, I'm Spongebob 101, back here again on the Spongebob channel with part 23 of our Spongebob Adventures in a Jam playthrough. We are back with day 14 daily reward. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, finish as much as possible in this video and hopefully we'll get to finish the King Krabs' Castle area in the next part. So let's quickly harvest some of the uh, jelly here. And over here we have the carrots. So we're really close to level 15, that's where we kind of left off. And I did say I was gonna, you know, try to get as much XP as possible without actually leveling up off camera. So now we can actually settle these orders and finally level up to level 15. And then the next one, 79 XP. So that's done. Now 118 more to go. Oh, we can actually just do this 79 one. And 39 more. All right, so we're gonna do the 68 XP order. And that should do it. Yep, there we go. Level 15. So we've got a couple more new plots for growing stuff. We've got the clams, the oysters, or the clams, whatever you want to call them. It's the seahorse, so we get one more of that. As well as the arcade machine, it looks like. So those are the level up rewards, pretty nice. Okay, we've got a couple quests here. So again, Royal Renovations, that was the ongoing one. Patrick and the pineapple. Buy a new field in the market and collect 12 pineapples. Okay, so we're gonna put the uh, plant bed over there. There you go, two fields, and now we have to plant the pineapples. So it's kind of, you know, funny how we're pi we're planting pineapples in front of SpongeBob's pineapple, but anyways, that's gonna do it. Also, now we can actually make the cans, which is, you know, what we need to do for the main quest there. Buy a seahorse in the market and collect the flower clouds from the fields. So let's do the seahorse. We're gonna put them right over near the stable or the you know the milk shed okay so now we're back day 15 daily reward let's collect it and of course we've got a quite a few things here to collect as well the jelly from the jellyfish and you know sometimes i'm just mistaking the jellyfish jelly for like uh gems uh, probably because you know in spongebob moves in the premium currency was jellyfish jelly anyways so we have our pineapple field right here and I'm not sure if pineapples look like that in real life when you grow them on, on a, you know, plantation or something. I don't know. But anyways, now we can plant the flower clouds. And, and you know, we're just going to have to wait for that to get done. But since we do have the can now, we can fix the throne. So let's go back to King Krabs' castle and do just that. Okay, uh, wait a minute. No, we don't need that the throne we need to get the metal shield i keep forgetting it yeah so the big pro in this game is well all the small little objects like the shield although it's kind of insignificant you know a lot of imagination was put into that and of course translating a lot of the random things from the show into the game which is really cool on the other hand the con the big con of this game is just the obstacles um it's intentional to slow you down and make you have to churn the energy but um some obstacles just don't make any sense like why is the whole room filled with obstacles like you're not actually incentivized to get rid of them i mean even the rewards of getting rid of them is not that great right day 16 daily reward okay so now we have our flower clouds done and we can collect them all Alrighty, you might have noticed I actually cleared some of the um, weeds as well. The more animals, the better. Quest complete. And now we can head back to King Krabs' castle. So we got a shield that is done. And now we can properly repair the throne. Okay, so let's see here. Repair. And then, dialogue. Did someone order a new throne and scepter? Um, I order you to fix them as if that's what you're asking. Okay, close enough. What do you think? They look grand, lad. Just grand. Happy to help, sir. I shall order my fool to write songs and stories about your exploits. Uh, I guess that's Squidly. Oh, but thou must first liberate Squidly from his prison walls. Why was he put in there in the first place? Yeah, why is Squidly in jail? I have imprisoned Squidly for his nefarious deeds. Alright, I hope we learn about that. We'll be happy to take him along. Maybe he's more of a liability than an asset, so that's why, you know, just like in the episode. 
Anyways, we can now come over to the jail cell. We have the jail door key, and there it is. Or there he is, Squidward. Is that you? Does thou talkest to me? Good one, Squidward. Hey, wait, this is like copying Dungeons and Dragons. Thou hast mistaken me for another. I am Squidly, the king's royal fool. Or at least I was until I mistook his pumpkin breeches for his pantaloons. Um, okay. You sure take their role-playing seriously around here. We're here to set you free. The king needs you. Thank goodness I was thought I thought I was gonna be stuck in here forever. Well, three minutes later. Ah, Squidly, you're just in time. I need you to troubadour up songs and stories for my two favorite subjects. You might also want to commission a, a new stained glass window. Okay. Aw, oh, clams. Boys, did you think you could, you know? You know what? <laughs> One stained glass window coming right up. Okay, so Squidly's discharge quest complete. And restoring the beauty. So now we have to fix that and collect some shattered glass. Alright, so two pieces of shattered glass, and it takes us over there. Okay, finally we're getting through more of the castle, so let's remove some of this. Random chains. Yeah, it really doesn't make any sense why all the random things are just lying around here. Um, but, you know, sometimes I just think this game, I mean it has Jellyfish Jam in its name, so couldn't all the obstacles just be jam? Perhaps this kind of livens it up a little bit, you know, having a variety of items, but at least with the jam, you know, blocking your way, it just makes sense because of the apocalypse of jam that all the jams over there. But, you know, here, all the obstacles, it just feels so unnatural. And that's even more unnatural for like an animated show, which is not even natural. So anyways, I'm blabbering right here. Let's quickly get some more of the energy from the sugar squeeze cart. And the candy, candy vending machine. I was going to say canding machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Back to King Krabs' castle we go. And remove that giant hammer. We've got another one of those hunchbacks. Okay. So we paid him off for something. Fix this. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of stained glass just lying around. The next one is over... Wait, th that actually just changed from 0 out of 2 to 5 out of 6. I mean, it does make sense that 5 pieces, 5 servings of it was in the entire pile, but we have just one small serving or a little bit left of the stained glass over there, so that makes sense it's only one. I don't know. Like, uh, let's, just, let's just play the game how it is. <laughs> I blabber on too much about that. Okay, so, stained glass windows repair and there you go dialogue time nice work you two now i feel properly inspired to compose songs and stories thanks dummy <laughs> wow that was the name's fool that was really direct what did i say so yeah it's kind of the same thing right while we were fixing the window i couldn't help but notice a large creature outside whoa was that the jellyfish dragon's just sitting there not zapping anything Oh, that be the dragon jellyfish. He's probably hungry. So is he like the enemy or not? He doesn't have a taste for sponges, does he? Worrieth not, my boy. He only eats a thing I like to call a crabby patty. Wait, so is this after Dunces and Dragons? But my royal grill has been damaged. Do you think you could fix it up? We can repair that grill, your immenseness. Anything for a crabby patty. <laughs> Look at Patrick just ready to eat right there. It's pronounced crabby pate. <laughs> All right. What did I say? Okay, so yeah, restoring the beauty quest complete. And royal kitchen. Let's try to get over to the kitchen before we end up the video. It's just over there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the lost corner of the castle, aside from that little path on the outside. So we'll see what that is all about in the next video. For now, let's just get over to that kitchen. We've got another hunchback here. We've got a fireplace and um, royal kitchen. Give the scroll to him. Okay. Fix the royal grill. Craft the hand. Blah, blah, blah. Light wooden board. Okay, we do need to craft that. Get the coal. We also need to get some coal. So I think this will actually be a good point too. 
end the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in the next SpongeBob video coming real soon. In that video, we'll continue here our adventures in King Krabs' castle, and hopefully we'll get it done in the next part. Till then, see you guys later. Bye.